Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 8, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our signal service, our live trades, and also full technical analysis. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have broken down a little bit today. We have not managed to break above 3,700. And at this point, I've basically been waiting for a pullback towards the 20 exponential. We are not overbought, but it is it is looking like we're running, it's basically getting exhausted here, and we are not managing to break above 3,700. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 100 points down to 3,600. That would make a lot of sense, and there will be a lot of buyers coming in if that is the case that will break down there. That is also the previous highs over here, and uh, that would be an amazing buy-in. So that's basically what I'm waiting for. But however, if we break above 3,700, that means we're we'll going to 3,800, and that will basically also mean that we should basically buy at that stage. But a pullback is the best option at this point. And uh, as it looks, it looks like these technical indicators are turning around. You can see the RSI is going to become bullish, bearish. The same goes for the stochastic. We're at the top of the Bollinger Band. The CCI is flat and the MACD is basically flat. So we only need a major move from, uh, in, for example, the MACD to break down here to indicate that we are going lower. So that is basically what I'm waiting for. So look at the Dow Jones. We have been also very, uh, fairly bearish in the Dow Jones at this, uh, at this point. It is breaking down, which is uh, expected. We're, it is expected for Dow Jones to go all the way down towards the 20 exponential, similar to the S&P 500. We have not managed to break the previous highs here. Uh, instead, we have basically broken down. So at this stage, RSI is looking very bearish. The CCI is looking bearish. The same goes for the, for the MACD. It's crossing the signal line now and it's going to head to lower levels. Uh, Stochastic is still bullish at this stage, uh, but the bullish amount, we're basically at the top. It's not a lot of, of action here. There are some... Um, we have been in between this area here for quite a long time, oh, nearly three weeks. Um, so a pullback towards the 20, that is a buying opportunity. Of course, a break above this area here of uh, 30,250. That opens the door to 31,000, and that is a definitely buy. There's a lot of room to the upside, so if that occurs, then of course that is a buying opportunity. So looking at the NASDAQ. So first of all, NASDAQ has broken the previous highs here, and we are trading, we were all the way up to uh, 12,630 uh, before we gave some of those gains back. Um, it is fairly overstretched at this point to be added. I expected that when the US dollar uh, started appreciating today that this was going to turn around towards uh, the 20 exponential or 12,256, which is our previous highs here, which also is what I'm waiting for. However, we did not do that. We rallied, and we broke down a little bit and then rallied again. And at this point, we were up nearly half a percent for the day. Um, if we look at the RSI, we are significantly overbought. So buying at this uh, level is uh, extremely risky. There's not a lot of room to the upside. We could basically tumble towards this level here at any point, which is also expected. The CCI is becoming more uh, negative. The same goes for the sarcastic, it's basically crossing the signal line. We are at the top of the Bollinger Band, and the MACD is still barely bullish at this point. So trade here, wait until it heads towards the previous highs here, 12,256, um, and then there's basically a, a buying opportunity. No interest in basically shorting this. This is not going to break down similar to this and this. Because what is going to happen in the near future is, is that we're going to receive stimulus and so on. It's just a matter of 
when that is going to occur. So let's look at the tech stock. So the um, stock that has been doing best, of course, has been Tesla. Uh, and we'll get to Tesla at, at one more because uh, it is very, very, very overbought at this point. So Netflix has been doing really well. It has rallied to 3.7%. We are testing these previous highs at this point, and um, I don't think that we are going to break. The reason why that is because we are significantly overbought. Um, most of these indicators are fairly fussy at this point, and we are way past the top of the bullion demand. So I think that we are going to pull back towards at least half or the 50 moving average on uh, on Tuesday or tomorrow sessions or Wednesday session. So that will be the buying to basically if we uh, if we pull back towards that area. Um, I would be surprised if we break this area, uh, this price level now and head to the very highs um, because we are so high in the RSI. So pull back towards the 50, that's the buying opportunity. Microsoft has been very, very, well, it's nothing happening here um, and it hasn't happened anything for the last three weeks. I am expected a big bounce to the upside um, because um, it should it should benefit from um, from this month's uh, sales, for example. But it is looking very bearish at this point. Um, hundred moving average is significant support. It is one dollar now at one hundred and twelve. Uh, these technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. Both the MACD, RSI, CCI, Stochastic are all pointing to lower levels. So it'll be you'll see whether or not um, the 100 moving average holds. If it doesn't hold, then of course 100, 208 will definitely hold at this point. So I'm expecting in the end of this month at least, or in the next two weeks, this should rally uh, significantly to the upside. But at this point, it is looking very bearish. Apple has rallied. We um, we rallied for for nearly one and a half week, and then broke down a little bit, and then we rallied again. At this point, we are most likely going to test these previous highs here. We are very close. We're at 124, and this is 125. And if we take out this uh, candlestick here, then we're heading towards the very highs here of 138. Uh, there's a lot of room to the upside. RSI is only at uh, 50, uh, 59. Technical indicators are, well, some of them are flat, but otherwise, otherwise they are very bullish. You could expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. That is uh, possible. However, we tried to do that for two consecutive uh, sessions and then rallied. So, so this is a very popular stock, and people will take advantage of it when they basically see that it is um, declining and is running into exhaustion in this client. So at this point, if we ran, if we break down towards the 20 again, then definitely this is a buying opportunity. So if you look at Amazon, we are down 0.31%. Uh, we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We tried to rally up towards the 50, broke down again. And at this point, we'll probably go much lower. These technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. The question is, how far will we go? Uh, one shot, uh, one guess would be um, 3,095. That is a possibility. That was the previous lows here. Otherwise, the 150 moving average should be significant um, support. I don't think we'll get down there. Just around 3,000. I don't think that is going to happen. I think we are going to find uh, support uh, around this area here before turning around to go and head to the very highs here. So look at Tesla. Tesla has absolutely <laughs> rallied 7.55% at this current point. We are significantly oversold, ridiculously oversold. We're at 86. This is a company with a PE ratio of uh, uh, in the in the thousands. So people are not buying this because it's cheap. People are buying, I, I have no idea, actually gave up trying to guess why people are buying this uh, stock at this uh, price level. Um, maybe hype, but this is not sustainable. Usually when we get to these levels here, we can see it, uh, we can basically go 
back here the last time that happened, it broke down all the way down to the 50 moving average. So that is also what I expect to happen here. It's just a matter of time before we basically break down. Um, some very famous investors um, like Michael Burry have started shorting Tesla stock. And uh, he's probably one of the uh, best known short, short sellers um, at, in the world at, the po at this point. And uh, if he starts shorting it, that, that should be a warning for everybody that's buying this. Um, because it's just so overvalued. It's nothing wrong with the product. It's just the stock is significantly overvalued. As you can see, it's also oversold. However, technical indicators are still um, very bullish for this. Um, maybe I'll put in a short uh, at the end of this session, of the US, US session, um, because this is most likely going to tumble and tumble really quickly. So... If you look at Facebook, Facebook has rallied significantly today. We were up 2.18%. We were up over 3% in the, in the early in the session. But we found resistance here at uh, 288. And uh, we have been in this area several times. It has been really difficult to get to these very, very highs. Um, at this point, it doesn't look very bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. Uh, CCI is looking bearish, and uh, we basically got the, to the top of the Bollinger Band and it got rejected here. So my guess for, for Facebook is that we are going to back towards the uh, 50 moving average uh, within the next few days. Um, this just seems too resistant within this area here for the stock to go significantly higher. But if we go higher, then we are going to target in 297. And if 297 breaks, then we go into 304. And after that, much, much higher. We have a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 56 in the, in the RSI. So we could rally all the way to the top here. But that is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. So when this basically breaks below uh, zero, then this is going to tumble really quickly. So if you look at Google, Google has given some of its gain back, but this is just of buying dips as closer the closer that we get to the 20 exponential which is at 1772 uh, and the more you basically buy of this um that is the case with google at this point it has been very resilient uh, uh, supportive here the 20 exponential moving average so at this point technical indicators are looking very bearish so we may get a chance of buying this cheaper at the 20 exponential which most likely will be tomorrow or on wednesday's session so hope you find this help video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much